Hey, what's up, Leo? Thank you so much for checking out my channel here at Reflexive Moon Tarot. My name is Sarah, and I am doing your reading for the new moon that is happening in Leo, your sign. So it's your time to not shine, I guess, <laughs> since the moon is going to be lights out for a minute. Um, so we're going to start off with Oracle, set the tone, continue on with the tarot reading, and then we'll conclude with affirmations. But first I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the full moon, sorry, the new moon in Leo. Uh, the new moon in Leo is somewhat significant because um, Leo, sorry, the sun and the moon are lining up while they're in Leo, the sign of Leo. So uh, the sign Leo is ruled by the sun. It's a fire sign. It's also a fixed sign. So um, Leos are known for having high amounts of energy, um, passion, enthusiasm, and as a fixed sign, they are also stable, determined, and quite persistent. Uh, so those traits you might find um, influencing you extra because, you know, this is, it's you, basically. Um, so the themes and significance with this um, new moon, self-expression. This is a great time to sort of step back, like take a step back and figure out, you know, what makes you tick when it comes to self-expression. Um, you, may, you may find that you're being too bold. You may wanna draw back, or maybe you find that you have not been bold enough or your usual bold self, and you want to, you know, come back out as your outgoing self, showcasing any unique talents that you may have, um, or just, you know, expressing the fact that you know how awesome you are. Confidence and leadership. Um, you know, it's really, really important to be inspired by taking on leadership roles or inspired by the people who are in leadership roles in your circle. And you may yourself want to step into the spotlight a little bit. Uh, you may find yourself, you know, desiring more joy and playfulness in your life. Um, and you may want to sort of reset what that means for you and what those actions are that you normally take that bring those aspects of your life back in or just enhance them and level them up in any type of way. So let's start pulling some cards. Okay, so we've got the um, Moonology deck here, one of my faves. We have, it's time to take action. New moon and Aries, so more new moon themes, fiery themes. Confidence, I would say, um, not overconfidence, but just being more confident or like activating the confidence that you already have. Maybe you, um, maybe you find that you are dependent too much on, you know, validation from others and you sort of need to take some more action with regards to validating your own awesomeness because that is I would say even more important but knowing how you are like you know that you're fabulous and you know it always like receiving praise is such a gift right and and I know that really speaks to you but let's see what the cards are saying for all the Leos out there that are checking in. And if this does resonate with you, please do hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the growth of my channel and it's much appreciated. I am super grateful for all of the support that I have been receiving this far. So thank you. Ooh, we have temperance. So lots of fiery energy. We have, you know, the new moon in Aries. We have temperance, which is ruled by Sagittarius. So detachment, boundaries, expressing yourself in a way that is not overbearing. And restraint as well. So maybe you do need to take a little break. Maybe you've been like having a few too many, a little bit here and there, no big deal. Just something, something that you may need to restrain from. It doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, substances. It could be any type of mood altering behavior that could be getting in the way of your progress. We have the Six of Cups. So, puppy love, um, nostalgia, good old days. There's lots of, 
there's lots of, um, I don't know, it's, it's very playful, the Six of Cups. Very, very playful. You could just be reminiscing a little bit. Maybe you're doing that a little bit too much. You could be holding on to ideals that no longer serve you. But I don't think that's the case. I, I really feel like this is something that you want to sort of cultivate for yourself right now. You may want to reach out to some old friends, family. Just get in touch with people and connect with them on that level. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So you might be struggling a little bit with um, your independence. Um, it could be also your health. Like you might not just be happy with yourself right now. Usually the, the Nine of, of Pentacles is about um, contentment and like fulfillment in terms of health and career. So, you know, the universe is telling you that you may not be as happy or that you're like maybe putting up a bit of a facade about what it is that you are, about how well you're taking care of yourself or how much you like your job. Maybe you're not really connecting with the people in your surroundings or, I don't know, let's see what else. Let's see what else is happening here. We have the Nine of Cups reversed. So I'm definitely getting the un an unhappy vibe. Like, like you really yearn for balance when it comes to work and pleasure and it's out of whack on some level subconsciously subconsciously it's like um you don't really see any reason to celebrate you're not like you're cut off you could be numbed out from you know experiencing joy or maybe like maybe you're going out with the intentions of having fun maybe it's something you know that you do on the regular and it's just not fun anymore you could also just be missing a certain, certain someones. Maybe you need to like, you know, hit up some old friends. We have the Queen of Wands. So in the past, there was an individual, or this could be you, because the Queen of Wands is a fire sign and so are you. I hope it's not you. I feel like the Queen of Wands reversed is like my least favorite. But, well, I mean, all of the all of the core cards reversed. I mean, who? <laughs> it's nobody's favorite. <laughs> but the Queen of Wands is very, very jealous. She's jealous and she is spiteful and she will kill shit. Like she is a ruiner because, you know, the suit of wands is all about activation. The opposite of activation is deactivation. So the queen of wands reversed is super insecure and very much willing to allow everybody in her surroundings to drown in her misery. Almost like the queen of cups, but not quite. She wants to like, like explosively end things. Like it's just done. The queen of cups definitely wants everybody to drown and stay drowning in the misery. But this queen is really really uncool like just toxic af and this is in your past though which is good so it's not it's not that um it's just something that you that you're moving away from so maybe you're if this is you maybe you're like steering away from you know subjecting yourself to self-loathing yourself to self-loathing um, maybe you're moving away from an individual that was just really raining on your parade as well. Because, you know, the Queen of Wands, very much like the Queen of Swords, is quite narcissistic and will kind of like a bit of a hunter. You know what I mean? So we have the Seven of Swords. Now this, I'm, I'm thinking like this queen might be coming back to sabotage you in some type of way, but not necessarily successfully. What I'm feeling here is that, you know, you may feel like you're experiencing some type of loss, but I think that if you don't react to whoever is gossiping or talking some smack about you in the future, then you'll be fine. You'll actually gain from that. 
you know, if you find you're hearing some bullshit about you or so you, you hear that so-and-so is talking about you or I don't know, like somebody could be trying to set you up to look bad in some type of way. I, I would say that, um, first of all, whoever is repeating the story to you, unless if they're like a true day one or whatever, you may want to consider, um, you know, inviting them to also mind their own business because you're not about that, right? All right, judgment reversed, your attitude. There's just something that you're not cluing into. And I don't mean that you're clueless. What I'm saying is that you're not awakening or arising to an occasion that is being presented to you. I would say with the Seven of Swords, you have an opportunity to take the high road. So what does that mean to you? You look like you're numbed out within your environment. Just being emotionless is... It's what works for you or it's what you're in in like what is your it's what your it's what your cycle looks like right now and sometimes that's what people need to do in order to get by and there's nothing wrong with that however you know if you're going to keep you know if you're going to keep the cup flowing with the card of temperance here if you're going to connect with what it is that you wish for in terms of in terms of loss or just wanting to reconnect and, and with the you know the good old days or feeling like nostalgic about things um, you know you're gonna you're you're gonna have to get in your feels for that and it it's it's tricky especially if you know feeling good comes with comes comes along at the same time with feeling so sad right? So we have the Ace of Pentacles. I would say that you fear, um, you know, your your fears are sort of centered in in not having enough. Also, maybe um, not being a healthy person. Now, I really think it's important, Leo, which I, and I'm sure you probably already know this. I feel like most people that are looking for spiritual guidance and guidance from like, you know, the cosmos in the tarot world have a, a good understanding about holistic health. So making sure that your emotions and that your spirit, you know, making sure that you understand that your emotions and your spirit are also included in your physical health. That's really, really important. So, you know, taking care of those things are just important as taking care of your body, taking care of your physical um, I just said body, taking care of your emotions, taking care of your spirit, that sort of thing. And, you know, if it's money that you're worried about, I would say like there's nothing coming out here that speaks to a lack on that level. I would say that the only thing that you're, oh, sort of, maybe. This could be health, though. I just said that. I might put my foot in my mouth and I got the five of pentacles. Ever sick. But listen, this doesn't mean that you're going to be experiencing anything like complete despair. This just means that you're going to feel exposed. You may feel like when you start to come into contact with your emotions again, if you decide that like, you know, you're going to restrain from some type of of whatever it is that you're overindulging in you're going to feel exposed you may feel weak on some level and you may feel like if, if this if this gets the best of your world you may feel like you either need to shut the door on everybody or that everybody is shutting the door on you now there has got to be somebody that you can go to. Let's clarify this five 
this five of pentacles we have the knight of pentacles so there's somebody there's somebody in your circle they could be a younger person somebody that's not very responsible um they could be a, a earth sign so they are either a virgo capricorn or taurus and they are lazy they're not protecting you or your home um, or maybe you're not protecting yourself if this is aspects within you. So you just need to stay protected and really get back on the health train. And, you know, if you're depressed um, and unable to function, then you really need to reach out and try to alleviate that. Try to switch up your, switch up your dopamine effect tactile activities do art things if you can we have the queen of cups reverse too so somebody is also very emotionally manipulative they are like if this is you then you really need to start paying attention to your intuition and stop ignoring what you know that you need to do Now, if this is somebody outside of you, they could be a Pisces. Um, I don't know why I have such a hard time remembering the signs based on the elements, obviously. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So we got we got a we got a Scorpio, or we got a fire sign, queen reversed, we got a water sign, queen reversed. And we got a reverse knight. Now, I would say that the knight is potentially like spreading the word. Usually it's pages that do that. But they're basic. Like all of them are basic. That's That should be your biggest takeaway. These bitches are basic. And even if it is, their tactics are effective for a brief amount of time, at the end of the day you are not going to be at a loss, okay? So there may be a little bit of bullshit ahead or you may be making some very tough decisions to like, you know, um, very a very tough decision to turn your life around in some type of way so the universe is going to challenge you and test you about whether or not that is the case, that you are going to take it seriously. So... You know, smudge, burn some incense, get outside, get grounded, all of the things. And also light a fire for heaven's sake. Light some fire in your life. If you have access to outside fire, go do that and sit by it. It's, you know, outdoor time in the northern, in, in North America. Um, and if you can't do that, if you're like living your best inner city life, you can light a candle very safely, I would like to suggest, because candles can get out of hand. All right. So we are going to finish off <coughs> excuse me, with some affirmations. First with the spiritual AF deck, we have ah, meditation, aka shutting the F up for a few minutes. Yes. Lots of people say they don't know how to meditate. You are no longer allowed to be one of them. Shut up for a few minutes. See what happens. Yep. That is what the Buddha did. Then do it some more. That's pretty sound advice. If you ask me, I might also take it up. It's been a minute. But there's all kinds of things that you can do to meditate. You can look for guided meditations and listen to them. You can listen to like various frequencies on like YouTube, like sound wave frequencies. There's different colors. There's different like chakras you want to work on. Maybe your heart chakra like Leo. The sign Leo rules the heart. So that may be something that you're interested in doing. You can do some heart chakra yoga. Um, you know, it's not for everybody, right? And some people find it to be appropriative and that is 100% valid. So make sure you're supporting real people doing their own work, right? Um, I would say also focus on your heart because that is what your, what your sign rules. That's what this new moon is resetting for you. Clear out your space. 
get rid of your garbage, any extra junk that you don't need, and just maybe even like pluck your eyebrows if you need to do that. Or I know that sounds absurd, but like you can change how you see yourself on a small level and that can make the littlest and biggest difference that might be exactly what you need. So with that, thank you so much for checking out my channel and this reading and take care of yourself. We will catch you next time. Bye for now. Oh, do you know what I just forgot? It's a good thing it didn't work. I forgot to do the affirmation. All right, so I'm not going to do the goodbye. We're, we've already did that. I'm just going to read this. We got the magician. Okay? Repeat after me. Which This is a little meditation too. Repeat after me, if you wish. I am dynamic, changing creation. I play freely with my thoughts, feelings, inspirations, and sensations. I am creative, focused attention, committed to acting on my ideas and inspirations. I am open to life's powerful energy. I allow it to flow freely through me. I am versatile and flexible. I work with the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual materials available to me in whatever place I happen to be. I allow others to see my creative experiments. I communicate my changing thoughts, feelings, and perceptions.